He's managed it, and he's run the offense and run the team well. The Canisius wins the tip. They're going to let it fly all night long. What a start for the Golden Griffins. At 6'6", he's got an explosive first step. Pit three turnovers in the opening two minutes. Up high, Canisius letting it fly. Frank Mitchell rocks the rim there. Good execution early on by Canisius, which is a good sign for them coming on the road, playing against a power five. Hits it from the logo. And if you don't know, now you know the hottest shooter in all of college basketball, Blake Hinson. He's our Step back three for the tie. Got it. To some action for Pittsburgh. The bench was the catalyst on Wednesday against West Virginia. Head coaching job was against, uh, his first game was against North Carolina, a game that Jason actually played in. Pittsburgh with back-to-back -back baskets, but still a one-possession game. Then Jeff Capel's trying to turn it up a notch on the defensive end. They go to trap the ball screen action. Trying to get him on a post-up right there. Calling for it, gets it. On the drive. Puts it up and in, Blake Hinson. Team's going punch for punch and a couple of floaters here, Debbie. Uh, watch Hinson right here. Hinson with 11, showing that he's not just a three-point shooter tonight. Shot clock at five for Canisius, trying to answer. How about the floater? The baseline side to handle the contact. Pittsburgh hasn't really gotten many chances from the foul line tonight. Just two of four trapped in the corner. Dinkins in trouble. Somehow passes out of it. And then it's stolen away. Jalen Lowe, the steal and the score. Debbie Antonelli, Jay Alter with you. The men's basketball team in a dogfight here. One possession game. And now tied. Deep three. Trey Dinkins delivers. Shot clock under 10. And what has been a high scoring first half. Team Eitendahl looking for more. And he gets it. Off his three point shooting. He's very good in the mid range. He's a tough competitor. Floats out behind the arc. 23 in gold. Calling for the ball and gets it. Mitchell spinning his way in for two. He's tough now. Kadisha's running the floor. Frank Mitchell on a rack attack. And buries Diaz Graham inside and then. Great fake out, Yori Fritz. Dialed in right now. Kanisha shooting 54% from the floor. A four-point lead on the road. The floater. Got it. Plus the foul. Seam Eitendahl putting on a show. And then Eitendahl right here with a floater. And one. Go up to the same set. They're running the same play. Can't leave him open. That's why. You know it's coming. You still can't stop it. Right side of the zone, you've got 6'11 and 6'10 on the wing. You've got to run offense on the other side of the floor. Leggett for the lead. Count it. Plus the foul. Ish Leggett. The change in defense by Jeff Capel's team because it's given them some momentum on this end. The pitch made their last three shots. The last two belong to Ish Leggett. Federico, Federico. He played the backup point last year, but he's done an excellent job this year taking care of the ball, managing the team, and Henson sticks it from deep. And he steps into it, and Carrington puts it right in the pocket. And Pitt with all the momentum and the crowd behind him. The hustle highlight reel is looking good right now, Jay. to make this hustle play right here and then leg it leaves it and it took a while but the oakland zoo is in full voice wheeling the panthers to the finish line dinkin silences them with a huge three who shoots it better from three than from two right now gets 
clinging to a six-point lead. Pittsburgh's made eight of their last nine to take control of this game. Hinson leads the way with 23. Make it 25, plus the foul. We're going to finish this off this way. Iso, matchup he can take advantage of. Dinkins trying to hold his ground. Two. Bob Carrington playing the role of closer, the freshman. An 11-point lead, the largest of the night. Pittsburgh has played their best basketball when it's mattered most. Mitchell slams on the answer, but time not on Canisius' side. Boy, Mitchell has been. They got challenged. They faced some adversity. They handled their execution offensively, and you can see the friendship between the two head coaches. That's a big win for Pitt, because Canisius is going to have an excellent season in the MAC.